Hi. Friends on the internet, it's a very beautiful day, and I am back with another tutorial. So today I'm gonna show you how to create a simple prototype puzzle game in Adobe XD. If you have been watching my video for a while, you will know I have been posting different kinds of UX and UI tutorials, based on different software platforms such as, Axure RP and Figma. So do check them if you're interested. And do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell to support the channel. So without wasting time, let's proceed. First of all, I'm using Adobe XD Web, which size is 1920 by 1080 both width and height respectively. Here have different kinds of web size templates that I have designed already. I have a link in the video description for you to download if you want to follow the tutorial step by step. Now let me give you a brief explanation of the designs. At the top, is the welcome background and a start button on it. On the neath. I have different templates and each and every one has 8 boxes in it. I named every template as you can see here in the artboards panel. Now is the time for action. Select the button on the welcome page. Navigate from design to prototype. Click on the angle right and drag to wire the first pattern. Move to interaction panel, change trigger to tap. This activates or gives out a clickable function to the start button. On the neath change action type to transition, animation to dissolve, easing to ease in, and duration to 0.4 seconds. So these give animation when the start button is clicked. Let's preview what we have done so far. In a puzzle game, you have to move pieces of boxes or patterns around to match each color whether horizontally or vertically. In that sense, we have to make these boxes move around by the drag effect. For that function to happen, click on the green box and wire it to the second template underneath. Change the trigger from tap to drag. Wire the other box back to the first. You don't need to change the trigger again to drag cause it automatically adapts from the first. This action enables you to drag the green box back and forth. From now onwards I will repeat the same process for the rest patterns. Back to the first template, I have a button named back which we need to set the action to. Click the button, wire it back to the welcome background. Change the trigger to tap, type to auto animate, easing to ease out, and duration to 0.4 seconds. Now if we click on the back button it will take us back to the welcome background. Note. Though the game is not fully functioning because there is more template to be made and wire. But to save time I have made it short for everybody to understand the concept. And thus all I have for today and I wish this tutorial will be helpful and useful. Like the video, comment, and share with others. And not to forget to support the channel by clicking on the subscribe and bell icon. So anytime I released a new video you will be the first to get it. On that note. I say peace and am out.